So if you're new to woodworking or you're just at the point where you're starting to really fill out your clamp collection, you may be wondering, hey, what are the clamps that I should focus on and which one should I go for first to really stock up in numbers on those clamps? And I think the answer may surprise you. So we'll look at a few of the common varieties and I'll show you which ones are my favorite. Stick around. So when I started woodworking, I thought that really parallel clamps were where it's at. And you had to have a ton of parallel clamps to really get much done in the wood shop. If you had enough of these large, you know, Bessie Revo clamps, that would give you really strong clamping pressure. And I think that does give you an advantage in some situations. A um, little bit smaller is the Revo Junior and other similar products by different brands. And those are also parallel clamps, but they're just a little bit smaller. The grips are smaller. Um, they're not as high end as far as the price tag and some of the features that you notice when you use them. But you know, where should you be? Should you just spend the money and get the larger clamps? Or should you fill out your collection first with some of these smaller clamps? And that's what I want to look at today. But the clamp we'll start with is actually just a real workhorse clamp. It's one of the cheapest clamps out there. It's a pipe clamp. I particularly like these H style pipe clamps that are elevated up off the workpiece. The benefit is simple. It just lets you clear your knuckles as you tighten the thing home. But where I really like to use pipe clamps is with my panel glue ups. Reason being, you can get glue all over these things. Just let it dry, chip it off with an old shop chisel and you're good to go. There's really no worries. It's such a cheap, setup the the clamp is high quality but you know the pipes are just uh, black metal pipes typically that you'd get at your home center so you can get them in any length you could certainly join these with couplers but the pipes themselves are so inexpensive it might make sense just to get the exact length that you need well pipe clamps certainly aren't the fanciest thing in the shop but they just work they've got a long acme threaded rod that makes it easy to reach your workpiece and the elevated design just gives your hand plenty of clearance as you tighten things home. They're easy to clean just by moving the tail of the clamp back and forth a few times. If there's any glue that remains, just take an old chisel and clean it up that way. The first instinct people have when they're buying pipe clamps is to get a bunch of very long clamps. And of course, that's what I did. I started with 48 inch pipe clamps. I do go with the half inch variety because I just find they're sturdy enough and they're lighter weight than the other common one would be a three quarter inch pipe. You can get either version, but I just think the half inch are sturdy enough, especially if you place the clamps bottom and top of your panel to kind of equalize the pressure. That's a really good way to go. But I think the mistake people make is just buying them too long. Sure, you want to have a few longer clamps in your shop so that you're never caught with the wet glue and not enough long clamps to close up the joints. But I think as you add to your collection, what you really want to do is add some in the 24 to 30 inch range. Those type of pipe clamps have proven themselves particularly useful in my shop. Now, once you've got a pretty good collection of pipe clamps going, you may ask yourself, what's the next clamp naturally to add to my collection? And I think most people reach towards a full size parallel clamp. Those do have some advantages like a large over molded rubber handle. And I think that in particular helps you apply more clamping pressure compared to a smaller parallel clamp or even an F style clamp. You also have a larger, stiffer bar on the clamp and that just keeps assemblies flatter as you apply pressure. But I think the full size parallel clamps also have some disadvantages that come along with them. For one, they're a little bit heavier. And so if you need the extra clamping pressure, I think the full size parallel clamps make sense. But if you're just working on smaller projects, there may be better clamps for that situation. The full size Revos are a nice clamp. This is the newer version and this is the older version. I don't see many functional differences between the two. I consider them interchangeable. They can be a little bit finicky in the way that they slide just because the bar is kind of a, a serrated or a tooth design. When they're nice and clean and new, they seem to work fine. If you get a little glue buildup on them, you'll have to work with a chisel to clean that up. The glue doesn't come off of these bars quite as easily as it does with a pipe clamp. 
But I think when you're working with a detailed assembly and you really need extra clamping pressure to bring the joints home, or you just enjoy the large rubber grips, the full-size Revos would be a good choice. What's really surprised me is how well I like these Revo Junior small parallel clamps. They have some of the same benefits as a full-size parallel clamp, but the handles are smaller. They're wood in this case, instead of the rubber over-molded version on the, the large clamps, but I think they're just so handy. They're lighter weight, they're easy to reach for, and I think they do a good job at keeping assemblies flat. I tend to use these when I'm bringing joinery together, like building cabinet doors. Now I'm sure the clamping pressure on these compared to a full-size parallel clamp is not quite as great, but the question is, is it adequate? And for me, about 90% of the time, these medium-duty parallel clamps are just right. The mechanism on it is really easy to operate, and I just never find myself being frustrated with these little Revo Junior clamps. So if you can get a bunch of these in your collection, especially in the 24-inch and 18-inch lengths, those are the ones I'm just reaching for time and time again in the shop. And then there's clamps that I really consider a specialty type of woodworking clamp, like these Deep Reach F-Style clamps. They're not going to be the first clamp you reach for, certainly, but in special situations, like when you're trying to glue two pieces of plywood together and you can't get good clamping pressure in the middle, sometimes the tendency is to pull out a box of drywall screws and use that to pull the panels together, but of course that changes the quality of your project. So having a handful of these deep reach clamps, I think, really makes a lot of sense in the shop. Here's a basic F-style clamp that a lot of shops are equipped with. And to me, this isn't really my favorite style of clamp. It's light duty in general. You don't have a very deep reach and the size of the jaw pads are quite small. And so this doesn't check many boxes for me. Unfortunately, this is what a lot of woodworkers are stuck using. It's fine to have a few of these in the shop, but as far as a specialty F clamp, there are heavy duty deep reach clamps. Now these are a big upgrade from those smaller F clamps because they do have that large over molded rubber handle just like the large parallel clamps. And then you might want to pick up a few of these quick clamps or trigger clamps. They have them in a medium duty. I don't find myself using the medium duty ones very often. If I need this much clamping pressure, I typically would reach for the small parallel clamps. But the ones I really like and use all the time are these light duty 12 inch trigger clamps. If you're a box maker or have small projects coming through the shop, get a bunch of these trigger clamps in a short length. You'll really like them. They have a neat feature. You can push this red button and it releases the clamp jaw. Then you can go ahead and install that on the other side, totally tool free. And then your clamp becomes a spreader. All right guys, that's my take on woodworking clamps and which ones you should focus on in the shop as you fill out your clamp collection. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.